vanity will take you to hell. Jesus is not fiction or a mere history character, he is alive and real. I have met the Lord Jesus and he told me to tell the world to repent, repentance, this is God's heartbeat, this is what he wants most from everyone, if you do not repent of sin, you cannot enter the kingdom of heaven, it's really a waste of your life to enjoy temporal pleasures of sin and then perish in hell forever, the Lord truly loves humanity, but sin cannot enter the kingdom of heaven, the Lord Jesus made my sister and I to stay up the entire night just praying for people to repent, the Lord's heart was so broken for the people perishing in hell, he told us to pray for those still on earth, the Lord so desperately wants everyone to come to salvation, he told us to pray for everyone we know and even people we don't know, and even people we just see on TV, just for them to repent, Jesus cares about everyone's soul. He desperately wants for everyone to repent so that they will not perish, the Lord showed me how people were perishing, running to hell because of sin, he made me to experience the pain of his aching heart for the perishing world, his heart for his people blinded by deceptive teachings comforting them in sin, Jesus said to me that, go and warn my people to repent and tell them I am waiting for them with open loving arms, because right now the door is open, but it will soon be shut. If you are still in drunkenness, smoking, adultery, fornication, ungodly entertainment, lying, taking God's holy name in vain, cussing, hatred, unforgiveness, pride, worldly fashion of dressing half naked with your cleavage or thighs out, wearing tight clothes that show off your body, repent from your sin and turn to Jesus because those things will take you to hell, the thing that is taking many women and even men to hell is vanity. The Lord hates when you pervert your body into something fake, changing the way God designed your hair to be by straightening it from curly, or from straight to curly, or dyeing it with fake colors, women wearing pants, trousers, jewelry, makeup, fake hair, fake nails, fake eyelashes and anything in that class, God truly hates it, it isn't for his daughters, you can take care of your skin and hair using products that don't change it to something fake like moisturizers etc, those things of vanity have taken many to hell, dress modestly and be holy even in your heart, having a clean heart is given by the Holy Spirit when you spend time in prayer, the Lord has shown me how many people perished in hell, because they thought they could love the world and Jesus, but friendship with the world is enmity with God. James 4-4 You cannot follow Jesus while your heart is on following all the immodest worldly fashion, dressed and honor Jesus because your body is his temple, how you dress is part of holiness, Satan deceives many people that focusing on how you dress is trying to be saved through works, Satan will do everything to keep you his slave of sin because he wants your soul, the truth is that all your works will testify whether or not you are a true disciple of Jesus or not. God's children must be holy in speech, thought, character and even dressing, that is what makes you a light because you are different, and that is what is leading a lot of Christians into hell, because the world has entered the church, people in church talk, dress, watch, and listen to the same things like the people of the world, light cannot be called light if it looks like the darkness, be separated from the world, you can prophesy, see visions, speak in tongues but if you are worldly, you cannot be the bride of Christ because he wants a pure bride who is unspotted by the world, if you are worldly you will not enter God's kingdom because God is not partial, he has shown me people who perished in hell for this and told me to warn his people about worldliness, there are so many women who served God but still loved the world and have perished with the world, I do not know how to emphasize this, this is so important to Jesus, do not love the world, there is a world that is more real than this world, the Lord Jesus has shown it to me. He's taken me there to see the damned souls in hell, salvation is serious, it would be much easier for me to lie to you all and comfort you in sin, but I must tell you the truth and testify to what Jesus wants me to, hell is a real place and as soon as you die you realize that God is holy, so many people at this point wish they had lived for Jesus and not cared about their worldly pleasure or people's opinions but it's too late, in hell, earth begins to look like a dream and like paradise because you can eat, drink, and rest as you please, but hell is a place of continuous torment with no water to quench your thirst, 
I am a witness to what God wants me to testify that worldliness is not a light sin and at least no one's blood will be on my hands, Jesus suffered that terrible death on the cross to save you from hell, do not trample down on Jesus' sacrifice by thinking he died so that you can sin with no consequence. Do not conform to the world, it is his death that will save you, but if you truly believe in Jesus, you cannot continue in your sins, you must bear fruits showing the Spirit in you. God will judge you according to your works because bad fruit shows that you are an unbeliever even if you claim to be a believer, repent from addictions and start to seek God in truth and spirit while there's still time and before the door closes, to enter the kingdom of heaven you must believe in Jesus and start living in holiness and in the fear of God, if you say you believe in Jesus but continue in sin, the Bible says that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of heaven. 1 Corinthians 6 to 9 10 Do not look to people, look to Jesus, seek and find Jesus and ask him to be your teacher.